making me to lie down in green pastures, leading me beside the still water. He restores my soul, leading me in path of the righteousness for his namesake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil. That's why we have to For thou art with me. The rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. Oh, my cup running from me. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. To the family, let not your heart be troubled. He believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it was not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Where I am, there may be also. Where I go, he know. And the way, he know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest. And how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, and saying to all of us, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Let us say amen. 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 We give honor to God today. Pastor Harrison should be on his way. Where is he? Bless you. Pastor. Here he is right now. God bless you. Pastor Harrison. God bless you. 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 Yeah, I'm back, y'all. <laughs> God bless you, Pastor Harrison. Amen. We give, again, we give honor to you, to all the ministers of the gospel. We also give honor to the Speller and to the Mullins family. Amen. And to all that has gathered here today in the homegoing service and love and memory. Yeah. Ms. La how you say that? Latoya. Mullins Speller. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to have sacred scripture reading by Pastor Sellers, the Old Testament, followed by Minister Neal in the New Testament. Now come with the prayer. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. Old Testament reading will be coming from the 90th Psalm, and it reads, Lord, thou hast been thou the dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountain was brought forth for even, and thou hast formed the earth and the world. From everlasting to everlasting thou art God. For a thousand years in your sight is but as yesterday when it is past, or watch in the night. Thou dost sweep men's away, they are like a dream, like grass which is renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourish and is renewed. In the evening it fadeth and withers. So teach us. Teach us. Teach us, Lord God, to number our days, yeah. that we may get a heart of wisdom. Let thy work be manifest to thy servant, yeah. and thy glorious power to thy children. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us, and establish there the work of our hand upon us, yea, the work of our hand upon us. That's in the reading of God's holy word. Thank you. Thank you. The Old Testament reading from Revelations chapter 21. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Yes, yes. From the first heaven and the first earth was passed away. 
and there was no more sea. Right. And I, John, saw the holy city in Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride, a door for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with man, and with, and he would dwell with them. Yeah. And they shall be his people. And God himself shall be with them. Mm -hmm. And be their God. And I saw, and God shall wipe away all their tears from their yes. eyes. Mm -hmm. And there shall be no more death. No more. Neither sorrow. Mm -hmm. No crying. Neither shall there be any more pain. Any more pain. Mm -hmm. And oh, the like former that. things are passed away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The word of God for the people of God. And may the peace and the love of God be with the family. Amen. 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 Thank you, God. Bless you. Let us pray. Our Father, which art in heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Creator and maker for all mankind. Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. First of all, Lord, even in times like these, we want to say thank you. Thank, thank you, God. For being a good God. Yeah. A God that don't do no wrong. But a God's will has been done once again. Yeah. Yeah. Father, as we assemble here today in the homegoing service, in the loving memory of Laquan, yes, a loving mother, a loving wife, yes, a loving daughter, and a loving sister, uh -huh. a loving person to all mankind. Yeah. We thank you for her life. Thank you. We thank you, Father, for being with her all down through these years. Yes. And even though death has shortened her days, we still thank you for the days that she had here. Yeah. But Father God, she's going on with you now. Yeah. But Father, we ask you right now, if you don't mind, throwing your loving arms around this husband. Yeah. Oh Lord God, he needs you. Yeah. He needs strength, Lord. Oh, yeah. He needs his faith to increase a little bit more to walk this walk of life without her. Yeah. Father, we ask you to bless the sons, the mother, the father, and Lord God, the sister. Yes. Oh God, we just ask you, Father, to throw your loving arms around the entire family. Yes. If ever was a time, Lord, we need you. We sure enough need you now. Yeah. We love you, Lord. Yeah. Oh God, we love you because you're a God that don't a God that holds the whole world in your hand. Oh yeah. A God that even you said death might come, but joy will come later. And yeah. we just trust in you. Yeah. We love you for all that you've done. Yeah. Even Lord for being here with us right now. Yeah. In Jesus' yeah. name we pray. Let the redeemed say amen. Amen. In honor to this family, in our name of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we say to this great family who are soldiers in this army of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And I tell you right now, we've been in a battle. Mm -hmm. and there's been some wounds and there's been some heartaches. Yeah. But our God, yeah. mm. Amen. He gives us the victory. Oh, yeah. I want to let this family know everything's going to be all right. Because yeah. God got this in His hand. Right. Right. God's going to fix it. Yeah. God's going to work it out. Yeah. Oh, Lord, how mercy. I thank God for this family because truly, they are soldiers. When I say yeah. soldiers, they have they are soldiers. Yeah. And, I, and I tell you, down through the years, this family had Amen has been a blessing to me as I went along in the ministry to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ and they have always been there for me. And I thank God for you. You've been there for my church. You've been there for Amen for the community. And I'm going to tell you what, what a great woman, Latanya. Oh my God. Awesome woman of God. So I'm just going to tell you, keep your head up. Keep your head up. Keep your faith in God. This is just one of the soldiers, right. amen, that God has called off the battlefield. Right. But what God wants you to do is keep on pressing on. Yeah. My God, I, I, I tell you, it ain't time to preach yet. <laughs> but I feel good in my soul. Amen. amen, amen, amen. What an honor for me to stand here, amen, today. We love you, Brother Spell, and to the family, and to the mother. And uh, we're going to have family expressions. Oh, and I want to also say thank God for these clergy who uh, stood in for us as we was making it over here. This money is great, great clergy, and we thank God for each one of them. And now we're going to have uh, special family expressions at this time. Amen. 
How are everybody doing today? Now we're here gathered to celebrate, you know, the life of my mom. Uh, you know, she was a great woman. Uh, taught me and my brothers, you know, how to be men, um, you know, how to stand up for ourselves, how to love and all that good stuff for them. My dad taught us how to be a man of God. Uh, you know, I thank, thank them both for it. Uh, you know, it's going to be tough, but we all going to get through this. Amen. Uh, you know, uh, she always taught us how to love. You know, she had a positive impact oh, on yeah. everybody's life. You know, that's why we all here today. Uh, if you have any bitterness in your heart, just just forgive uh, anybody you have. Uh, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, like I said, I was talking with my dad. Uh, if I have a daughter, I'm gonna name her Michelle in her honor. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, just find your heart, forgive everybody, and have a positive impact. Oh, uh, I said, part of you envious of her. Uh, you know, she, she, she in a better place. Woo! Uh, yeah. yeah. She was in a lot of pain, but now she in a better place. Me and my brothers, we always talking about we want to do good, be great, you know, leave a legacy. We always talking about we want to move her out, you know, our neighborhood and stuff since it's gone downhill. But, you know, now she got the best house. Yeah. 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 But yeah, uh, thank you for everybody coming today to support us. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. Amen. 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 Thank you. How everybody's doing? Amen. Amen. Uh, thank y'all for coming out, uh, celebrating with us today. Uh, you know, my mom, she was always a very loving person. You know, always, she always said, treat others the way you want to be treated. And I can tell you for sure, she always treated everybody with respect and love and you know she always tried to go out her way to make you feel good when you're down pick you up and you know i, I love cooking in there with her and stuff oh. joking with her and stuff you know it was all good you know her memories and her legacy will definitely live with us um and i just thank god for letting her go home in her in her in his presence today because yeah. you know she was in a lot of pain so yeah. i know she's definitely in a better place you know Amen. And we're going to continue to live and do the Lord's will and continue to live and do what our mom taught us. So Amen. thank you. Hey everybody, I think you know who I am, the eldest son. Um, you know, we're here to celebrate my mom's life. And um, I wrote a little something that I just wanted to read. It's called Twinkling Star. Um, hello, Mother. Your tender love was like no other. We look now to the night sky and we keep wondering why. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Oh, why did you wander off so darn far? The kisses and the hugs, you telling us to fix the rugs. The countless <laughs> breakfast, lunch, and dinners, you always making us feel like we're winners. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Oh, why did you wander off so darn far? A call to heaven before 11. God had another task for you. And now our world seems very blue, but I know what you would say, no more tears and get them out of my purse and face your fears. That's an inside joke if you don't know, you just won't know. Um, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Oh, why did you wander off so far? You taught us the oldies were still goodies and always kept me um, a pack of cookies, always reminding us to lotion our knees, now plastering our phones with funny emojis. Oh my God. Um, twinkle, twinkle, little star. I want to thank you for being so awesome. Because out of all the moms, you are the best one. We love you always and forever and forever more. Um, you know, my mom taught me a lot of things that I try to live by today. Um, obviously, my dad as well. But um, it's nothing like your mom, man. You know, uh, it's going to be a lot of you know new things that we're going to have to overcome as a family. Um, you know, I can't run and call my mom hey mom what insurance should i pick you know i gotta grow up you know can't keep relying on my mom but um that's all i'm gonna say um thank you all for coming and um all right i don't know about you but how can you be sad about that when you got three young men that love their mom, but most importantly, they love God. I told them early on that we will not have grief of the life that we shared with Latonya. Truly, she was my everything. 
If you know anything about me, you knew Twanya. Many times I'm out in the front, but what you did not know, she was right beside me. People say she was in the back. Oh, she ain't going to be in the back. She was right beside me. But I wanted to tell you that this woman loved with her heart. She gave her all. The night that it happened, she had cooked, and we had Bible study, and it was a regular day, and she was participating in all family activities. And then it happened like that. She was in a place where she loved to be, and that was her bed. And I just thank God it didn't happen in other places. So I just wanted to give you some words of comfort today and from the Word of God. It says, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Yes, yes. He healeth the broken in heart, and he bindeth mm. up their wounds. Now I want you to listen to this, 2 Corinthians chapter 1, 3-4. to It says, Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all comfort, yeah. who comforted us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith he hath comforted us of God. We're going to have to comfort somebody. People are going to go through some things. That people are going to die. We need to comfort them with the comfort that God has given us. I didn't think that we could stand up. We had people standing by to cover us if we couldn't talk. But i like, man, God has comforted us to comfort others. Oh. Now Romans 8, 18 says this, for I reckon yeah. that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. Amen. And I'll leave you with two more. I had a whole big one here, but I'm going to leave you with these two. It says Jesus wept. We know that as the shortest verse of the Bible. Well, one, Jesus showed his human side. Yes. He was 100% God and 100% man. Amen. And it was short because he doesn't want us to weep long. Because uh. weeping may endure yeah. for you. Yeah. But joy, yeah. but joy. Yeah. But joy. Yeah. cometh in the morning. It comes in the morning, brother. And this is the last one Hallelujah. that gives me hope. Yes. John 11, 25 says this, and we better get this one. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And I just want to thank God for my wife. It would have been 32 years next year, and we were planning so much. But I, I'm telling you, I looked at my phone today, and you know when her last text was me? She said, move on. Oh my God. Move, Move on. Yes. And I'm telling you, can I read the poem right quick? She, yeah, yeah, yeah. she actually, um, I'm sorry. I, I, and I want, she told me to make this quick, but I'm, I'm, I'm taking too much time here. Take your time. All right, she wrote this letter to me. Um, she was having a hysterectomy um, on, on our anniversary, on our 20th anniversary. Now, this was so this was some time ago. Here's what she said. She said, God gave me you, and I have been thanking him ever since. Yes. You love me just because I'm me. You think I'm beautiful, and you have no idea how wonderful that makes me feel. Awesome. You like holding me, and I couldn't love that more than I already do. Your touch calms, soothes and heals and touches my soul. Awesome. God couldn't gave me a better man in all the world because you were born for me and she bolded me. Aww. I love you so much, I couldn't tell you how much. I love the time we spend together laughing, talking about the past or the time we spend planning our future. It's all good to me. I love holding you, you back and simply enjoying each other's company while watching TV. That was our favorite thing to do. It says, you are the love of my life. I love you and can't wait to see that crazy things that we talk about and do in the, another 20 years. And here's our last sentence. I'll see you in recovery. Lord, thank you, Jesus. Amen. Oh, amen. Did you
did you hear these soldiers speak? Now, the only way that you can do that, you got to have on the whole armor of God. Amen. And they've got it on, and the Lord has given them the strength to do it. And it touches my heart to hear that. And I just thank God. Okay, we're going to move along. And thank you, thank you, thank you for every word that was said. Next time, we're going to have a selection uh, by Mr. Brent Blackwell, I Won't Complain. And after the uh, selection, the next speaking voice will be that of me for, with the words of comfort. Yes. Amen. 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 Praise Him. Amen. Amen. Praise Him. I've had so the days. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days and some sleepless nights. But when I when I look around and I think things over, all of my good days. Outweigh my bad days, and I I won't complain. Sometimes the clouds hang low, and I can hardly see the road. I ask the question, Lord, why why so much pain? But He knows what's best. Me. Although my weary eyes they can't see, so I'll just say thank you, Lord. And I, I won't complain. Thank you, Jesus. I will not complain. You know, I asked the question, how do soldiers, amen, get the victory on the battlefield? And even when it seems like they're losing, how do they get the how do they get to victory? They have to give God praise. We ought to give God some praise right now. Because I want these soldiers to keep on pressing in the name of the Lord. I'm going to ask uh, Deacon Davlin Simpson if he would come and read the scripture that I'm going to be speaking from today, and then uh, we will come with the message. Thank you, uh, Brother Black, and uh, we won't complain. Amen. Amen. Give it on to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the head of my life, to all the clergy, uh, to this lovely family. Um, to, De to Deaconess Mullen, she'll get me from saying that. But uh, we share, we share the same birthday, Miss Janie and I do. And I didn't know y'all's mother, but uh, in the word it says, rejoice with those that are rejoicing and mourn with those that are mourning. And my heart aches for you. And I, like you, all of you young men have said that, you know, your mother's going on. So uh, keep your heads up, trust in the Lord, and uh, he will give us strength. Scripture reading is tonight, today, is coming from 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter, mm -hmm. and it is, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, and have not clarity, I am be becoming as a sounding brass or tinkling cymbal. Yeah. And though I have the gift of prophecy, and understand all mysteries, and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains, and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profits me nothing. Amen. Charity suffers long and is kind. Charity envies not, charity vanishes not itself, is not puffed up. Do not believe itself unseemly, seeking not her own. It is not easily provoked, thinking not evil. Rejoice not in iniquity but rejoice in the truth beareth all things believeth all things hopeth all things endureth all things charity never faileth but whether there be prophecy they shall fail whether there be tongues they shall cease whether there be knowledge 
it shall vanish away. Thus I read 1 Corinthians 13, chapter, verse 1 through 8. The grass withers, the flowers fade, but the word of God shall stand forever. Amen. 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 Thank God for those words coming from the word of God and from those scriptures I want to use for the uh, text. The, the woman, amen, Sister Speller, the woman that loved Jesus, loved her family, and loved others. I want to say that again. The woman who loved Jesus, loved her family, and loved others. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 is called the love chapter of the Bible. Because the 13th chapter of 1 Corinthians tells us what love is. Yes. And what love isn't. That's right. Now everybody doesn't read the Bible. And some of us who love the Lord will be the only Bible that some people will ever read. Amen. Well... Amen. If Sister Spell's life was to be read by the unsaved world, uh, then her life story would be open, I believe, to 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Because she tried to love the way Jesus said Amen. to love. Oh, uh, um, my God. Uh, so that she wouldn't be a tinkling cymbal or a sounding brass. When Jesus saves us, he touches us and then he puts the love of God down in our heart. Yeah. That is the kind of love that is found in 1 Corinthians 13. Now the mark of a Christian is love. Yeah. Love, love. The greatest gift that any of us can receive is the love of God down in our heart. Yeah. And the greatest thing we can do is to use the power of love yeah. to help somebody. Yeah. What joy, what a joy it is to be around people who have the love of mm. God yeah. down in their heart. Yeah. When we have the love of God in our heart, that means that we are going to follow Jesus as the Bible says. Yeah. We are going to deny ourselves, yeah. Yeah. pick up our cross and follow Jesus. Yeah. We are going to love what Jesus loves yeah. and hate what Jesus hates. Yeah. If we say we are saved and sanctified, filled, with the Holy Ghost, then we should love. I'm talking about agape love, radiating from our actions and behavior because our love ought to be genuine, not a fake and phony love. Uh, may I talk to us just a few minutes about a woman of God who loved Jesus, loved her family, and loved others. God lived in the heart of Sister Spelling. Yeah. She abided in Jesus and Jesus abided in her. Yeah. Her life was filled with the blessed living waters of Jesus. Yeah. Jesus says when he abides in you and you abide in him, ye shall bear fruit, much fruit, abundance of fruit. Yeah. Yeah. And one of the fruit of the Spirit is love. Yeah. Uh, you know, my brothers and sisters, you know, a, a lot of folk will say they love you. Yeah. Can you say amen? But, 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 but amen, I saw God's love in action through the life of Sister Stella. Oh, I tell you, when we have the love of Jesus down in our heart, we are being able to love our enemies. Can you say amen? I, we are able to love our family, love our neighbors, but most of all, love Jesus. When we have the love of Jesus down in our heart, we are going to love praising and thanking the Lord for being so good to us. Somebody ought to tell him, thank you right now. Oh, this is how that we know that we have been born again. Amen. Sister spell of love. Amen. Coming, amen, all the way from Charlotte, amen, with her husband and children to Shallow to have church with us. Amen. She was like David, I tell you. Uh, when he said, I was glad when they sat in the meeting. Let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. I thank Sister Spella 
for the many amens that she gave me when I tried to preach the word of God. I thank her for welcoming, amen, the Holy Spirit into the church services. Amen. I want y'all to know today that she did things for shallow, amen, that she didn't want anybody to know about other than God and those that needed to know. And why? Because, amen, she wanted only Jesus to get all the glory. Amen. Not her, not her husband, not her family. She said, God's got to get the glory. And so in holy quietness, she helped Shiloh to get where we are at today in a new church. Oh my God. Yeah, I can say it now uh, because she is at home with the Lord. Amen. You know, some folk, amen, boast about what they do. Got to let everybody know, amen, what they do. Oh, my God, my God. But Sister Speller was like this. She was like this. She said, may the works that I've done speak for me. Because God knows my heart. Amen. So may my uh, works speak for me. Amen. Sister Speller loved to praise the Lord. She loved worshiping Jesus and working for the Lord. She loved uh, putting on and keeping on the whole arm of God and fighting a good fight in the army of the Lord. That's why I was talking about soldiers. Oh my God. Again, may I tell you about a woman who loved Jesus, loved her family and loved others. She lived the life that Jesus has told her today in glory. Well done. Amen. Sister Spella had the love of Jesus down in her heart. She had the love of Jesus like fire shut up in her bones. And it was all because God laid his hands on Sister Spella. Our God, he molded and shaped her into what the Lord would have her to be. The Lord filled her with the Holy Ghost and, and used her to be a blessing to her family and others. And because of that, we are here today to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the life of this woman of God. Oh, Speller family, God blessed you with a woman. Amen. You can thank God for over and over and over and over again. Oh, amen. Because she loved Jesus, loved family, and loved others. Oh, you can proudly say that. Amen. There's my lady. There's my wife. There's my mother. Amen. Uh, this is such a dark world that we live in. How uh, can you say amen? And, uh, it's filled with hatred. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. and is running over with violence yeah, yeah, yeah. on every yeah. hand. So what a joy it is to meet somebody that, that's got the love of God yeah, yeah, yeah. down in their heart in times like these. Yeah, yeah. And letting that action of love speak louder than words. Yeah, yeah. Jesus said, let your light so shine, yeah, yeah. shine with love because God is love. Yeah. And somebody ought to say amen. Yeah. And amen. amen. We have the love of God amen. down in our little hearts. Amen. Therefore, we let our little light shine for the Lord. Amen. And therefore, we can make a difference amen. in the lives amen. of others. Amen. amen. We will have a legacy. Amen. Oh, if we let our light so shine for amen. the Lord. A legacy of what God can do when we allow him to have his way in our life. The love of God was stirred up in Sister Spellin to love her husband and her children. Sister Spellin was just like Mother Janie Mudlins. Oh my God. Uh, 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 like daughter, uh, like mother, like daughter. Amen. Sister Janie, she loves Jesus. She loves her family and she loves others. Sister Spella and Tamika. Uh, they both were taught in the home by yeah. good people. 
parents, Henry and Jamie Mullins. They were taught to love Jesus, love your family, and love others. The Bible says we ought to train up a child in the way that he or she should go. And therefore, I'm here to tell you the sister Jane, amen, taught her daughters from a baby, oh my God, to love Jesus, love your family, and love others. Well done, sister Jane. It's well, well, well done. Deacon Henry Mullins, well done. Sister Spella used what you all taught her to do. Well done. Because there was nothing, amen, she wouldn't do for Antonio. She loved him from the depths of her heart. She loved being Antonio's wife. She loved being his lover, business partner in the computer world and friend. She loved her children with the love of God down in her heart. She was so proud, so proud of her boys. And do we know what Sister Spellum would want her sons to do here today? I'm here to tell you she would want her young men just to copy her. Now, what do you mean, Brother Preacher? Oh, to copy what she was taught by her parents. Oh, that is to love Jesus. Love him with all your heart. Oh, you say, love your family. Lay down your life for them and love others. And God will get the glory out of your lips. Somebody said, ah, oh, if I can just help somebody. If I can do this, then I know that my living will not be in vain. Oh, my God, my God. When you have the love of God in your heart, ah, there is a zeal in you that said, Lord, Lord, I want to know what can I do to help somebody as I travel through this barren land. I want to help somebody. Jesus said the harvest is plentiful, but the labor is a few. Therefore, Sister Spella said, Lord, hear me. Hear me. Use me. What can I do to help somebody? Jesus, he told him. He said, I just want you to love. Somebody say love. I want you to love with all your strength. And that love will guide you in what to do to help somebody. I'm almost finished. Sister Spellum, I want you to know that she loved her sister, Tamika. Oh, yes, she did. She loved working with and supporting the SK Premium Love Foundation. Oh, she loved making a difference in the lives of others. And she was so glad to see young people get scholarships to go to college. Oh, oh my God. Glad to see needy young folk get school supplies. I'm glad to see, oh my God, the needing get coats in the winter time. Oh my God. She believed in what Jesus said. We ought to feed the hungry, clothes the naked, visit the sick. Oh, and not be willing in well doing. I'm coming to my close. I bet she was proud of what the Lord was doing through S and K, the premium love. She just loved to help her sister help somebody. Oh, Sister Spellum, a man has gone to glory with a good name. Ain't that all right? Everybody, don't leave this world with a good name. But oh my God, I thank the Lord. He 
blessed him with a good name. He blessed him to leave a legacy. Can you say, oh man, oh my God, oh, kindness, showing love, will bless him with a good name. Oh, he will bless the child of God in the end with the crown of righteousness that shall not fade away. I feel good in my soul. Oh, to meet them. Oh, my God. She loved him. And your sister, she would say, she would say to me, my dear sister, don't you ever stop what you're doing. Because you have been taught to love Jesus. You've been taught to love your family. You've been taught to love others. No matter what, sister Tamika, you are doing a good work. Hold on to God's unchanging. I got to go. Sister Spelling loved her aunties and her uncles, nieces and nephews. She would say to them, you know we have. We've been through the storms of life. It just seemed like the last couple of years, storms have been all in our family. And uh, some of you are going through right now. But thank God. Um, oh, thank God. We'll let nothing separate us from the love of Christ Jesus. Not death. Not nakedness. Not terror. Not distress. Not sickness. Nothing is going to separate us from lifting our hands and giving God some glory. Nothing is going to stop us from saying hallelujah. Oh my God. Jesus is all right. Can somebody say that the Lord says all right? Says all right. Says all right. Somebody, you ought to love Jesus. You ought to love your family. And you ought to love others. So when eyes all over, so when you lie down to rise up no more. You can hear Jesus say, so good because let me tell you what love is love it's not puffed up love it does not behave itself unseemingly love is forgiving and love is everlasting to everlasting so let me tell you her love is right here now her love hasn't died her love hasn't gone anywhere just hold on to that love hold on to our precious memories and everything will be all right is it all right is it all right say it say it This woman loved Jesus. Yeah. 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 Amen. What a word. Loved her family. Loved others. What more can we say? My God. It's time for the whole to call. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm looking around. Of course, this woman, this family, and they give their life to the ministry of Jesus Christ. 
Yeah. Come on, come on. And if there's somebody here, come on. Yeah. All right. uh, that don't know the Lord is your Savior. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Then Sister Speller would have you to come. Come. Please come. Please come. Please come. Please come. And accept Jesus. Yeah. Yes. Yes. In your life. Yes. 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 Because you're going to need him. Yes. 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 I just want to pause just for a few seconds. May every head be bowed just for a few seconds. Jesus, thank you, God. And if you don't know the Lord, just lift your hand right where you're at. Yes, we'll, yes. we'll pray for you. We'll yes. pray that Jesus will save you. Yes. Right where you're at. Yes, Lord. Right yes. My God, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. This Jesus I'm talking about is wonderful. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may lift your heads now. Jesus. Um, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Amen. I'm just caught up in the spirit. I can't remember what's next on the program. Amen. All right. We're going to now have the committal, the rights of the, the committal. Now that it has pleased Almighty God and all his wise providence to take out of this world. Dear sister, sister Talana Spella Mullins, we thank you for the precious memories that we have of her. We pray, oh God, ashes to ashes. Us to us. We now commit her soul, precious soul, in the hands of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, in whom second coming you will come again and raise us from the dead, that we might take off mortal and put on immortality. Hallelujah. We might sit with you in glory forevermore. We thank you now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Brother Sellers. Brother Sellers? Yeah, Brother Sellers. I'm going to ask Brother Sellers if he would come and, and, and lead us in a closing prayer and uh, also get the benediction. Amen. Now, Lord God, we thank you for the life of our dear sister. We ask, Lord God, that you keep your loving arms around this family. <laughs> Let them know, Lord God, that this is not the end, but only right. the beginning. Amen. Father God, we ask you to just walk with the civil in Lord God. Let them know, Lord God, that all is not lost because she is in, in your hands. Yes. And Lord God, in your words, you said that you have no respect for person. And I know in this case, Lord God, that she lived according to your will. Yes. And now, Lord God, we just ask you just to keep this family keep in your care. And Father God, if you would do this, we'll forever give that name. Praise in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Blessed Holy Ghost. And now, Lord God, we ask you that you give us road grace that we all may return to our destination yes, safely, Lord, Lord God. Yes, and Father yeah. God, if you grant this, we'll forever give that name and praise in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Blessed Holy Ghost. We we'll all say amen. 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 We'd like to take this opportunity to thank Reverend Harrison for that wonderful message. We'd also like to thank each and every minister that was here today, and they assisted in every way they could. Any other ministers that's out in the congregation, we thank you also. And to each and every one that has come out to show your love and support. For those that are watching at home, we thank you for all that you have done for coming out and showing your love and support to this family during this time of bereavement. For every act of kindness that's been shown, they truly want to say thank you so very, very much. They do ask, please, to continue to pray for them that they will need your prayers in the upcoming weeks and months. And to the family, the Spellers, Mullins, 
We thank you all for allowing us to serve you. And our service will not end today. If there's anything we can do further, please feel free to call up on Amen. us. This, this completes our homegoing service for our beloved Latanya Merlin's Speller. May her soul be at rest in peace. And may God be with you, family, and keep you uplifted and be with you. Again, we thank each and every one of you for coming. After ministers have come by and greeted you all, we then may return to our calls. Again, thank you all for coming. God bless you.